Before the opening bell, U.S. indices, they closed down on Tuesday, pressured by shares in materials, tech hardware and equipment, as well as the energy sectors. Now, on the economic front, the U.S. Conference Board's Consumer Confidence Index declining to 92.6 in July. This all as 67% of S&P 500 constituents, they traded lower or unchanged yesterday. Now after the markets closed, we first begin with Starbucks disclosing third quarter adjusted LPS of 42 cents, now we're than expected, versus an EPS of 78 cents a year ago on net revenue of $4.2 billion. General Electric gaining some ground before hours after posting quarterly sales and free cash flow that beat expectations. At the same time, AMB, that's Advanced Micro Devices, announcing second quarter adjusted EPS of 18 cents above expectations and up from 8 cents a year ago on revenue of $1.9 billion. Now, in terms of expectations, today we do have some big name results due out. We have expectations for Facebook, PayPal, Qualcomm, as well as Boeing. While on the economic docket before the opening bell, 7 o'clock in the morning, we have the release of the MBA mortgage applications figures. 8.30 in the morning, we have the release of U.S. wholesale inventories. And then at 10 o'clock in the morning, we have the release of pending home sales figures, followed by in the afternoon, the Federal Reserve's interest rate decision. Taking a look now at the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees its key interest rate 32.24, and that's in focus. The index currently faces a challenging resistance area at 32.24. Short positions below 32.24 are favored with targets at 32.04 and 31.91 in extension. The Nasdaq, meanwhile, that's under pressure. This while the Dow Jones, that continues to see the downside prevail.